Yes, yes, y'all YouTube, and welcome back to the channel with more Forza Horizon 5. Now, guys, I thought I'd bring you a tuning video, a how to tune guide in Forza Horizon 5 for handling, grip, your suspension, alignment, and basically to get the best performance in handling from your builds and your tunes when racing in street races or circuit racing or sprints in Forza Horizon 5. Now guys I thought we'd pick the Evo as uh, all-wheel drive cars do tend to have the worst handling so I thought what better to use for a how to tune handling guide for Forza Horizon 5 than an all-wheel drive car. Um, the methods do prevail out onto front-wheel drive cars and rear-wheel drive cars. Obviously the characteristics of all three different drivetrains, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive will slightly differ in tune. Um, that's just life so if you're enjoying the video smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below now as of all race builds guys please stick to the basic rule of thumb which is if you're making the car for race you do want your best to have race suspension and slick racing tires not semi slick guys slick racing tires provide the best grip as with this build we're going to be keeping it in the A class so I'm not going to be doing too much to the engine as again we're focusing on footwork as this is a how to tune guide for Forza Horizon 5 for handling, suspension, alignment to in turn generate the best grip and performance from your build and tune in Forza Horizon 5. So again with tyres we are going for racing slick tyres as it's the best compound for grip. So if you can we are building this to an A class and everything here will be the same for S1, S2 and X class as once you've got your race parts on in your brakes suspension your race tires pretty much they are the main components for the handling and the grip within your tune um, for alloys I'm not bothering with the alloy weight because we've stripped all the weight off the car again when you're building a race build and you're wanting it to be a grip build to get the most grip and power put down as possible to get the fastest lap times within Forza Horizon 5 then please make sure you are putting on race suspension, race brakes a race gearbox is fundamental especially if you are not fully tuning the engine so a race gearbox will help you tune the gear ratios I have a video on the channel already on how to tune gear ratios correctly um, I will be putting up another video, a sort of combination of everything all put together. So at this at the moment guys this is part 2 and this is handling for grip, alignment and suspension on Forza Horizon 5, how to get the best race build possible for the fastest lap times. So and um, we do have some points left over on this build so I'm going to make it a full A class and again all the tuning advice in this video and tips will work on S1, S2 and X class. If you are going to be building a lower class car then uh, A class car still bear in mind try and get um, race suspension on um, your brakes you'll probably be able to sacrifice and put the, the lower tier brakes so not race brakes to tune handling you've got to have the race suspension so please make sure because that will unlock the alignment and also the dampers, the rebound rate and also the height and the height adjustment is very important. If you put in on race gearbox make sure everything is race so um, race differential as well as the differential tuning is going to be very important. So the key elements of this video is alignment tuning. Um, all elements here, suspension tuning and your differential tuning comprised with the overall build of the car so the correct parts to put on the car 
to again maximize the uh, tuning method that I'm going to show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump because it's pretty boring I'm going to do a quick paint on this throw a couple of stickers on it just so it looks a bit more interesting for me to drive around and for you guys the viewers so smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you think to the video so now guys we are heading over to the main festival sites um, racetrack as I find it's the easiest one to tune on so I'm going to show you that this is just the stock tune so once you've built the car as we've just done you are then going to have all the bolt on parts on the car and this is going to be the default settings for the tune for each individual part that you've put onto the car so we're not going to how I like to tune the car guys is I really don't like to do anything right now I like to have a look at it and just see how it's set up so um, see how much alignment is on the front and the rear wheels um, have a look at the gear ratios have a look at the springs uh, rebound and ride height um, quick look at the tyre pressure and then what we'll do is we're going to go into this circuit lap and we're going to take the bolt on default tune and we're going to run it round to get a few um, test times and get an overall feel of what I'll need to tune on the car and as I said guys this is how to tune any car in Forza Horizon 5 for grip um, handling to get the overall quickest build and tune possible for racing and get the most enjoyment as well out of your builds guys because at the end of the day it's a game and we play the game to have fun so um, if there's any questions regarding the builds or regarding the tuning methods please drop them in the comment section down below and I will respond to every um, comment that's Forza Horizon 5 related um, if I don't respond back to you straight away just give me a bit of time and I will I'm just a little bit busy at the moment so guys we're heading straight into this race yeah so guys this is the best way to tune really and um, this test track go out do a few test laps as you've seen there it's with the default tune and the bolt-ons it's hitting a really slow time of 1 minute 16 seconds so we're going to keep going through the second lap as we'll always have a warm-up lap and your second lap, if, if you are pushing it guys, it definitely will be a lot quicker than your first lap. So I'm hoping it's going to be at least three seconds quicker than this. So I do know exactly what I'm dealing with. And you have to take the car out with just the bolt-ons on and the default tune. Because otherwise guys, you are not going to understand what elements of the car in the tuning to actually focus upon. And again, you, this is regarding alignment all aspects of your suspension and your differential including the beginning part of the video which are the correct parts to put on the car to tune in this way and to correctly make um, a fast race build or a sprint build anything for road racing or track racing so we're coming up to the finish line again here guys and I must say the car's really really good with these parts on um, it does show a lot of potential 1 minute 12 1 minute 12 there guys you want in the car to have as, as much control as possible the car's handling to feel as nimble and as light as possible but fill you with as much confidence that you can carry the pace of the speed of the car through the corners to maintain a fast lap time so I'm not going to touch the um, tyre pressure at all I do believe the tyres are providing just enough grip um, even when the car is being pushed, um, even when the cars are heated, sorry, even when the tyres are heated up to a certain extent. So I'm not going to bother with that at all. We're going to jump straight over and we're going to go into the so straight into alignment. Camber on the front and the back. This is what's going to help the car turn the corners, maintain the speed through the corners, feel more nimble and agile. I'm not going to adjust the toe, front and rear, and I'm not going to change the caster. The anti-roll bars, we are going to stiffen up front and rear. Um, as the body roll, we are wanting to eliminate. On the springs, um, with the ride height, guys, I'm going to bring the ride height down, and then I'm going to bring it back up to see what it sits at fully low um, 
don't have the uh, springs too low as that will um, counteract the alignment that we're putting on um, for the differential we're going to change the balance so it's 55% to the rear um, and again guys just go through your springs and as you can see here, what we're doing is we're, we're stiffening up all the suspension we're adding um, quite a bit of alignment um, and camber on the front and rear wheels again don't be afraid to put camber on as again that's going to help you maintain your speed around your corners it's also going to give you more control and make the car feel more nimble and agile say your handling and um, with the suspension rule of thumb we're going to stiffen it up so um, the differential the damping the springs the anti-roll bars the alignment they are the main elements of the tune for grip and handling in Forza Horizon 5 for any car front wheel drive rear wheel drive all wheel drive that you need to pay attention to if you want the car to be a fast build so being a fast build is not just being fast on the straights you've got being you've got to be able to maintain a constant fast speed throughout the corner so yeah guys so this is um, the test lap now that we've done a um, basic tune so I'd call that like a base tune for handling guys as they're the elements you want to be focusing on and a hundred percent you can clearly see the improvement in the build in the handling in the performance in the grip in the uh, speed the car is able to maintain throughout the corners so um, bear with me guys because these bits might be a little bit boring um, feel free to pull me up on my racing line as these are test laps so I'm going to give the car a decent bit of punishment we are going to get the car um, cut in the corner to uh, see the difference in the uh, actual handling and grip on the transfer on terrain and textures so the first lap guys was 1 minute 14 so we've not two seconds off of the base default tune just with that basic um, elements that we're focused on with the alignment stiffening up the suspension um, editing the uh, differential and I'm going to keep pushing this guys so we're going to get a, a full free lap finish time off of this and then what we'll do in I should say what we'll do then is uh, we'll go back into the tuning and I'll show you the uh, final stages of my tune on the uh, tuning guide for Forza Horizon 5 on how to tune handling um, tune a car for race um, grip correctly and again guys notice that the alignment is what's helping the car and um, transition smoother from um, a straight through the corner and back onto a straight maintaining as much speed as possible and these are the key things you need to focus on guys when making um, a race build whether it be for a track or whether it be for sprint is you've got to focus on your uh, alignment you've got to focus on your suspension and your differential as well them three elements combined then when added with putting on the correct parts so race suspension Racing slick tyres, racing gearbox, racing brakes, rule of thumb. Again, this will work for anything above an A class, so for S1, S2, and X class, and how to tune your cars for grip. Bear in mind that front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive do have slightly different characteristics, so not all tunes will be exactly the same. Each car is also different so each tune will be slightly different for each car but as the basics of uh, elements and what to focus on camber with alignment helps you transition corners and maintain a um, overall high speed throughout the corner so from the three laps guys the fastest lap time was 1 minute 11 and overall 3 minutes 42 so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the tune I'm going to head over and I'm going to do my final tune now on the elements that we've discussed throughout the video if you're enjoying the videos guys smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you think the video was helpful if um, 
If there's any other videos that you'd like me to make for the channel, drop them down and I'll get on with them and make them for you if they're helpful. Uh, so again guys, we're going back into the springs, we're going back into the dampening. Rule of thumb, we're going to stiffen it all up a little bit more. With the differential, um, we are going to increase acceleration, deceleration on the front. I say 31. Either way, on the rear, we're going to extend it to 40. 40%. Brakes, we're going to put them up 3%. We've already done these. Fine alignment. I'm going to add more alignment again, guys. The alignment is what's going to help the car maintain its speed around the corner. Um, and this is where I will now edit the gear ratios just slightly, just so we can get a bit of a quick acceleration by shortening them gear ratios. Now this is the uh, final test of the tune on how to tune any car in Forza Horizon 5 for handling, for grip, for race, road racing, track racing, sprints, on um, slick tyres, for A-Class, S1, S2 and X-Class. So if you're enjoying the videos guys, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Again, you've got to bear with me on these commentaries, the voiceovers are not natural to me. And to be perfectly honest, um, I only do them to put as much information in my video for you guys, the viewers, as possible. I do find doing a voiceover so cringy. But back to the video and the tune guys. And this, to me now, I'm happy with this. I'd say this is tuned for handling. Um, I'm pleased with the overall suspension and um, pleased with the camber and alignment there's not too much on the car is turning in very well maintaining a nice speed throughout corners um, if you do find that not being able to put many modifications on your engine is making your engine a little bit sluggy don't forget that um, the race gearbox will allow you to shorten your gear ratios either individually or with the overall drive ratio or should I say the final gear ratio for the final drive um, making them shorter uh, will make your car a little bit faster help accelerate a little bit and won't bog in the top end so I think this, uh, this, this tune is spot on guys so um, I'm very pleased with this video hope this video has helped you guys out we're going to run the rest of these three laps and see just exactly the quickest lap time is out of this tune just so you guys can see that the uh, tuning method and the advice I've given you in the video does actually work you can take what you've learnt from this video and uh, implement it into your own builds and your own tunes and it'll just take so much stress out of the equation of building cars you'll enjoy the game more and again guys it's a game it's to be played to have fun so um, i hope that these videos are helping you guys out taking some of the stress off of tuning the cars and it's like basically once you've once you've sort of like got the hang of like understanding to tune your alignment your suspension your differential for the actual grip um, you will find it very easy to tune any sort of car, any class, uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and any any BHP bracket as well, guys. Um, with any tyre compound as well. If you do want to see me do um, a video on uh, just exactly the lap times the tyres give you, so which is the fastest tyre to have, um, in my personal opinion, it is the uh, slick racing tyres. Uh, but if you want to see a video just on individual uh, tyre times, uh, drop that in the comment section down below. It might be quite fun. But until next time, guys, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. 
the overall um, fastest lap time on this now is 1 minute 9 seconds and the free laps is 3 minutes 38 seconds so an overall improvement how to tune guide in Forza Horizon 5 for grip and handling for race road racing street racing circuit racing sprint till next time guys peace